Hi, this is Trey Pastor. Welcome to my Blu-ray update for the week beginning March 23rd, 2013. I have a few things I got from Best Buy and a few things I got from Target. I actually went to Target first and then Best Buy. And I have a surprise that I, something that I was complaining about a few weeks ago on an update. <laughs> and remarkably enough, I found it at the uh, Best Buy I went to in Jersey you know, where I work. Okay, the first movie I got is uh, from Best Buy, and I did a review of this on my channel. If you check my uh, Safe Pass Society reviews, uh, which I'll leave a link to uh, somewhere in here, you can see my review of Frozen. This is the Target exclusive with the uh, bonus uh, DVD, bonus disc, right there. There you go, bonus disc, Target, feature uh, deleted scene, uh, the Voice of Frozen, Frozen Art Gallery, okay, that's on DVD, okay, and I really, really enjoyed this movie, I watched it, like I said, last night, I turned the lights off and stuff and watched it, and the, the snow and the animation and the voice work and the singing was just absolutely perfect, one of the best, now I see why it won best animated movie of last year, it was that good, Frozen, and I, I heard that they're releasing a 3D version in October, of course, <laughs> later, so I'll look out for that. And another thing I got from Target is uh, something I saw JW Universe uh, show off. Of course, this is the Hungry Games Catching Fire. This is the Blu-ray DVD digital copy and has the extra third disc combo pack. And I know you've seen unboxing of this, so I won't have to do that. There you go, unboxing. I got this the Target exclusive there. Show that. Okay, and like that. And a few other things. They have these movies on sale. Uh, these next three movies that I got. Uh, next four movies, excuse me, that I got from uh, Target. They were on sale for five bucks, and then with a dollar also, they're really only four bucks. So I couldn't pass that deal up <laughs> for, uh, for that price, four dollars a movie. Uh, this is Young Guns. I actually love this movie. It's uh, Keith Asella, Emilio Estevez, Charlie Sheen, uh, Lou Diamond Phillips, uh, Dermot Maroney, and Casey Samasco. About Billy the Kid and his friends there. A really good western. I've never seen that. And this is directed by what? Well, by Christopher King. Yep. Just a really good, and uh, even Neil O'Reilly is really good as uh, Billy the Kid. I think that's Billy the Kid, right? Yeah, the Billy the Kid. Of course, then the classic uh, movie that was written, the Tony, directed by the late Tony Scott, and written by, I think, uh, Quentin Tarantino, True Romance, starring Kristen Slater, Patricia Arquette, Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt, Christopher Walken, and uh, the guy, what's this guy, the guy from Sopranos, I forgot what his name is. Uh, who was in there for a brief moment as a torturer? What the fuck was his name? James Gandolfini, late James Gandolfini is in this as well. Just a great, great movie. Okay, I actually love this nice action romance movie. That's the director's cut. Okay, and then we have, of course, A Time to Kill. This is a great movie about a father who gets revenge when they these men rape his daughter. Uh, Sandra Bullock, Matthew McConaughey, Samuel Jackson, Kevin Spacey. Just a great drama. Okay. Then, of course, we have The Man from Snowy River. I remember that this is, a, I think Kurt Douglas is in this, right? Uh, is it Kurt? Yeah, Kurt Douglas. He plays two characters in this. Anyways, it's about a stranger that comes to the Snowy River. You know, and he meets the young daughter of, a, of the rival rancher. You know, has one of those type of stories. And there was actually a TV show, The Man from Snowy River. There's a, there's a movie, a, another movie called Return from Snowy River, which is, I guess, a sequel to this. And then they, they had a TV show called The Man from Snowy River. Which used to come on, I think, either ABC Family or one of the I've got this, one of these stations I used to, I used to watch. It was actually pretty good. The Man from Snowy River. Okay, there we go. And I think a uh, young Guy Pierce was on that show as one of the sons. Okay, now, now this is uh, the two things I went to after I went to from Target. I walked to the Best Buy, which I didn't know, believe it or not. I went to this. I've been to this Target a couple of times. You know, it's a little ways from where I work at, and I. I always knew there was like a Best Buy nearby, but I didn't know where until, and believe it or not, it was to the right of it, and I never walked that way. I, when I always walked to Target, I walked that way and went to Target and then came back out and walked to the subway to, you know, to get on the path train to get to New York. But I never walked right. And so, you know, I looked at the map one day and the guy said, yeah, this is Best Buy, that's right next nearby. And I looked when I was away from a distance, I actually saw it, you know, shining from the back, you know. And so basically I had just, had to come out of the Target and walk right, and there it was, walk through the side of the buildings, and there was, you know, the, the Best Buy there. 
So anyway, uh, I went there and I got, of course, American Hustle came on. I really, really love this movie. Great acting in this. A great cast. Kristen Bale, Bradley Cooper, Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, and Jennifer Lawrence. Okay? In fact, um, it's a great, great movie. Great character piece. I absolutely love this movie. Uh, I think it got shut out though during the Academy Awards. Now the next movie that I got, last next and the last movie I got, is something I a few weeks ago I bitched about when uh, a certain movie came out on Steelbook. Okay, superhero movie that came out on Steelbook and it had sold out so fast that it was ridiculous. I mean, I even went I went to the one near where I live at Border Road and of course it was immediately sold out. And then I even went to the one in Jersey, you know, to the Best Buy in Jersey looking for it. Of course they didn't have it; it had sold out. Okay, so I was I went to Best Buy just to you know to pick up basically American Hustle and maybe look for the Frozen book uh, edition that had the book with it, which I think was like a Best Buy exclusive. But of course they didn't have it, and then I was just looking around, and lo and behold, guess what I saw? <laughs> Believe it or not, the Best Buy Steelbook for Thor. Don't ask me why it was sitting there. It was it wasn't even sitting in the right section. I was just happened to be walking down that aisle. And I saw it sitting there, and I just you know grabbed it and looked around, <laughs> see if this wasn't April Fools or anything. And yes, it's, it is the Steelbook, the Thor Steelbook, uh, the Best Buy exclusive. Okay, don't ask me why <laughs> or how it got there, but it was somebody had stuck it there, and I grabbed it <laughs> and I took it. So now I have it. Okay, okay. So uh, I guess it's, but it still makes me pissed off that they. Uh, didn't, uh, you know, that they sell out way too fast for these exclusives, you know, like, which is really not a good thing. But anyway, I finally have it. Okay, so there you go. So that's my update uh, uh, for this week. Let me know what you think of my titles. Feel free to leave comments down below. This is Trey Faster saying so long and take care.